Hello everyone and welcome back to another session of Dark Souls 2 PvP and another weapon showcase. This time I am using the Roaring Halberd, which is essentially a dark version of the Black Knight Halberd. Now guys, this weapon is amazing. It's truly fantastic. The damage output on this thing is ridiculous and the ability to, you know, build up damage on someone is just insane. It's so, so stupidly easy to build up at least a thousand damage on someone. I, I can't really describe it as anything other than ridiculous. Getting started with this weapon, it requires 16 strength, 12 dexterity, 12 intelligence, and 12 faith in order to wield, so that's a bit of a wide spread. It has an A scaling in dexterity and a C scaling in dark, the physical base damage of the weapon is 310, the dark base damage is 210. The attack rating for me, without a ring of blades, is 300, or, yeah, 365. No, 653. Uh, don't know exactly what happened right there when I was trying to read my numbers, but I kind of messed up. Yeah, whoops. Might be a little bit tired. Oh well. Um, yeah, 653 attack rating, without a ring of blades. Now, I don't have a Ring of Blades plus 2 on this build, I only have plus 1, but still, it doesn't give very much to the weapon, because it does do split damage, it's a boss weapon, and it's just the way it is. So, yeah. The counter strength of the weapon is 120, the poise damage is 35 per hit, and the weight is 16 units, which is about standard for a Halberd class weapon. Now, this thing, as you guys have seen, is insane. It's got guaranteed two hit combos, so just R1, R1, R2, R2, uh, two handed R1, R1, very, very, very easy to build up massive damage. And you know, that's a good thing about this weapon. It's very easy to do, very easy to use. Now, when you're using this weapon, of course, the one handed R1s, it's got the overhead swing and then the stab. That overhead swing can be used to bait other people in, and you can follow that up with a parry. Chances are you will find some success with that. Or you can just uh, go for the overhead swing, hold up your shield, and turtle poke them. That's also a good strategy to use with it. When two-handing the weapon, the R1s, uh, I tend to unlock a bit when I'm using this and when I'm two-handing it, because if you unlock, you can aim it slightly with the left control stick, with the left analog stick. And when you can aim it, well, if someone's, you know, all the way behind you, you can aim behind you, and that means good things for you and bad things for them. So, you know, it's kind of something you would want to practice with a bit and get used to doing. Now, for the remainder of the video, I do use a dark Roaring, roaring Halberd. Uh, it is slightly different. It has a C scaling in dexterity and a B scaling in dark at this point. The physical base damage is 272, the dark base damage is 277, and the attack rating, 707, guys. 707. Yeah. That's insane. And I decided, you know, if people are going to be buffing, I'll throw on a buff for a buff. Just to see how ridiculous I could make this thing. And you know, 1300 damage in two hits. I really can't complain at all. I'm just happy it's not being used against me, and I'm happy that it's not used against me very often. I don't really ever see this weapon. I, I actually can honestly say I've only seen it a grand total of one time in PvP against me. And you know, that's kind of surprising, and on the other hand, it's really not. This weapon, the biggest con of the weapon, would be the fact that it has lower du durability than most other halberds, and when I say than most, I mean it has lower durability than all other halberds. They all have around either 60 or 70 durability, depending on which one you're looking at. This one only has 40. So as you guys can see, if you look at my durability, it's already quite low, and that was just from that single invader. Just one invader, and it was down half of its durability. That's a problem if you're doing an extended PvP session. So that's probably one reason why we don't see this weapon too terribly often. Because otherwise, I only have good things to say about it. The biggest pro of the weapon would be its damage output. 
the moveset can be used to bait people in. You can do cancels when you're doing your attacks. That is a really relatively easy thing to do, surprisingly. All those fancy looking roll cancels. Yeah, it's actually very easy to do them with this weapon. I mean, it's very easy to do them with most halberds anyway, but, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, really, I don't have anything else to say about the weapon. I mean, it's got all the standard halberd pros. It's got that one somewhat big con of the low durability, but other than that, this thing is solid, guys. So, anyway, this is the last, uh, these are the last two little clips. Not necessarily a fight, but two little clips. Uh, well, one clip left now. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it helpful in one way or another. Please like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff, and I will see you guys next time.